Hey guys, sorry for not uploading for a little over a week, so I've been sick, obviously you can probably hear me, and I've been out of town at a wedding, so hopefully I can make up for it in this video. Um, so I wanted to go over, um, I just put a blog post up on the Life's Old Tower website, um, just a kind of a crypto plan going forward, and I wanted to show two uh, tools that I use, and I want to finish the video off on Crypto Hopper, kind of give an update. Um, on kind of how I tuned it to, uh, you know, because the market's so bad right now. So um, this is, like I said, it's just a blog post I put together. So um, my crypto plan going forward. So uh, I'll just read through this. So short, short term, um, in order to grow my Bitcoin and pay myself um, U.S. dollars now, um, obviously, you know, I'm getting really into crypto hopper the bot trading to grow bitcoin and then i'm going to start skimming off the top to kind of pay myself um so take home uh those us dollar profits um then i have some links here too if you guys wanted to go to it's lifezoltar.com i'm sorry my voice too because i'm so sick i don't know if it's the flu or what um and then uh next bullet point here is place sell orders of 200 percent or more on Cryptopia and uh, Binance on coins that get pumped often. So there's probably gonna be a lot of questions on this. And again, this is really risky, but if you've seen another video of mine on the, the whole pump and dump, now I don't, like I, I did pump and dumps before back when you could actually profit from them. I do not recommend them anymore because they're very, uh, you know, that's, it, they're just so corrupt. I mean, it's, you know, there's so many insiders that get in, they, you know, they pay the admin to, to get the going, coin ahead of time. And it's just, you just, it's so hard to make money if you can't make money anymore. And it's just the whole concept behind it. It's just not good. I was never really a fan. Um, like I said, I made a video or two on it just because pe there's so many questions on it and people are asking me, um, like friends and family and, and whatnot. So I figured, you know, what the heck, I'll make a video on it. And just because I've done it a couple of times too. So now what I've been doing is I use um, a couple apps. Um, Coin Stats on my iPhone actually has a pump notificator or a not like a notification indicator on it. And what you can do is use that app to kind of track coins that get pumped often. And you can just make a list and um, there's other there's other apps out there too. Um, oh geez, I'm trying to remember now um, the names of them. Um, I'll put them down in the comments once I remember the names of them. But uh, there's other websites that track like pump coins, and what you could do is just keep note of them, like jot them down um, in your notes somewhere, and then you can go on these exchanges and put like sell orders, or obviously buy the coin for very cheap, and then put like a sell order on one of the exchanges at like a 2x or a 2.5x and just wait like a couple days a week or more and eventually that coin will probably get pumped again and you may be able to double your money now again you know there's no guarantee it's risky just like all of cryptocurrency is risky um, but I've had you know I've personally been successful with this I know it works I've had multiple people um, you know friends and other people I talk to um, you know, have this, you know, it has worked for them. So I know it works. So, um, any questions, let, you know, let me know about this down in the comments. But, uh, like I said, it, it's risky, but it's doable and it's, it, it's heck of a lot better than those pump and dumps because it's, they're, they're just set up to fail. You really, you really are. So, all right, moving on. Um, third bullet point. So, uh, DCA, DCA dollar cost average. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. So I, basically what this means is I buy all three of these coins on a monthly basis. So Coinbase has a repeat buy feature and I just set it up where um, it withdraws from my bank account every month and it buys these three coins like a little bit every month just so I can just keep building up uh, my portfolio of these three coins. Um, just because I, I think you know these three are definitely gonna be you know sticking around for the long term. Um, so next up is kind of my midterm plan, um, holding for a few months, you know, six months um, or so. Um, so the plan here is to hold uh, the lesser known altcoins on exchanges. <clears throat> now again, <clears throat> excuse me, um, holding on exchanges is not a good idea. Actually, one of the big exchanges in Japan just got hacked the other day. I don't recommend this, but the problem is 
um, all these you know coins you have to find separate wallets for um, this and that now if you want to do that go ahead me if I'm only holding for a couple months um, I'm gonna take the risk and just leave them on the exchange and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait for them to double in money and I'm gonna cash out that uh, um, that uh, revenue and leave that initial investment amount in there so in other words I'll basically take my initial amount investment amount out so therefore my risk is eliminated so I already made my money I took take my investment out so the rest is just all profit so if I lose it I lose it you know um, if it gains it gains that's great so that's kind of my plan there and then eventually I'll probably throw those in on like a hardware wallet which I'll get into next um, and then next is I use this uh, web uh, site and mobile app called coin tracking and I'll show you guys that later it's really cool um, it's a really cool app to, to track uh, kind of profits and um, and charting and that kind of stuff and then also I'm going to continue to invest in more of the well-known ICOs so the last one I did was the NAGA uh, ICO NAGA and I quadrupled my money um, within I think it was like three weeks or something like that so um, I'm going to keep doing the ICOs. Um, I mean, you really got to research. I mean, because there's a ton of scams out there. Um, but if you do your research, um, you know, check on the executive team, you know, the uh, advisory board of these ICOs, make sure they're legit companies and all that. Um, and, you know, it's, uh, you know, you, you can really profit. Um, but again, you really, really need to research and just, just be careful, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing so many scams now with like the whole, you know, the BitConnect thing went under and like, oh, there's just so many scams. So just please be careful. It's just so many scams out there. I don't want anyone to get hurt here. Um, and OK, so long term uh, holding for a year longer. So I've been mining uh, Bitcoin, uh, cloud mining with Hashflare. I've been doing it for about five months now, I think. And it's pretty good. Um, I invested $350 and I'm expected to make um, over $2,500 um, by year end. So what you do is you buy a one year contract to mine with Hashflyer. Now Genesis Mining is another really good one, but I believe they're still sold out of mining contracts. But Hashflyer, last I checked, you can still buy um, their mining contracts and they're one year long and like I said I bought a three hundred fifty dollar uh, mining contract I think it was like uh, I want to say three or four um, Terra hashes I, I don't quite remember um, but that in turn gave me um, about a twenty five hundred dollar uh, profit so it's, it's pretty cool um, and you can kind of compound that as well um, you know buy more Terra hashes as you go um, it's pretty cool. I have another video on that too if you guys want to get more information on that um, on the YouTube channel. And, and lastly here, um, I'm going to hold uh, the top five or maybe more coins. Actually, I'm already doing this on my Treasure. Um, it's the hardware wallet and I have that locked in a fireproof safe here in my house. So, and these are long term. I mean, you know, the next year, two years, three years, five years, 10 years, whatever. You know, so I have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, um, you know, a bunch of others. I think I, I'm trying to remember. I think I might have eight. Um, you know, obviously that treasure, it doesn't hold, you know, all, you know, thousands some um, coins. Um, I think it only holds maybe like 30 or so coins. Um, but I think I have maybe eight or so on that hardware device. But anyways, it's locked in a fireproof safe for safekeeping. So, you know, if any of those coins, you know, go up in value in the next year or two, I'll have them safeguarded. You know, I have to worry about having anyone, you know, the exchange get hacked or, you know, anything like that. So, and again, I did an unboxing video of it too in a review. So if you guys want to check out that video too. Okay, so that's basically the crypto plan going forward. Again, lifesoltar.com if you guys want to um, look at this. Now, again, I mean, 100% honest, these, some of these are affiliate links because I do pay for this website, um, the hosting fee and the website fee. So if you guys could use my affiliate links, I'd really appreciate it um, because it does help me pay for the website. I mean, again, I mean, I get, what, a, a couple bucks if that. So... Um, it would really help to, you know, pay for the website and the hosting fees and, you know, making these videos and everything else. So I'd really appreciate that if you guys could help me out um, using these affiliate links. Um, so lifesoltar.com. Okay, so moving on. Um, real quick, I wanted to just show you guys this. This is TradingView. 
Um, it's called, it's just www.tradingview.com. It's a really cool, uh, kind of charting tool and then here on the right you can get all the up-to-date like real-time news it's like an RSS feed of all the um, depending on what coin like this is obviously Bitcoin and you can you know get some of the top coins here and then it pulls in an RSS feed <coughs> of all the news on that coin and then you can you know you can drill in um, on the charting tool and you can obviously see look at it and Bitcoin is just tanked so I mean oh wow it's just went down so much um, trainingview.com. Um, I really, really love this charting tool. So if you guys want to check it out, it's completely free too. Um, so, uh, trainingview.com. Um, so coin tracking. So this is that other website, um, I showed you guys on the, my blog post here. Um, so I use this now. I, I think I'm trying to remember. So I bought the pro plan. Now, they, there's different plans that you can buy for this. I'm trying to remember if there's a free plan. It, it's, it was so darn good where I'm like, you know what? This thing is so awesome. I'm just going to pay for it. Um, I bought it in Bitcoin. Um, and what it is, um, I'm not signed in because I didn't really want to share to the world my portfolio. <laughs> you know, so this is just, um, you can see, this is a live demo. So this isn't my, uh, you know, I don't own, you know, nine Bitcoin. Um, this is just a, a demo. So what you do is you can sync this up to all your exchanges or your wallets. So um, literally you put in the API key. So any exchange that you have coins on, any wallets that you have, literally you sync up that, uh, with the API keys and it does real time API calls um, and pulls in all your um, investments or all your coins. And it charts it, you know, it gives you a total value of your coins. Um, it pulls in, you know, uh, you know, your Bitcoin total value, your total account value. And it charts it here in all these awesome pie charts. It breaks it down in, you know, what uh, exchanges, uh, you know, you're using. All your trades, you know, if you're using like Crypto Hopper or something. Or if you're manually doing trades, it, it you know, it charts all your trades. It charts the Bitcoin price. Um, here's, you know, charts the Bitcoin, um, your current balance. Um, your amount, you know, the values, balance by day. And here's another really cool thing too is, um, is a timeline too. So anytime you trade it, it'll say, you know, you traded three times in January and then your portfolio had the highest amount here and you purchased, you know, this coin here. And it literally just tracks anything you, anything and everything you do in your crypto portfolio, this thing tracks. And it adds, subtracts, charts, keeps track of the total amount. It's just awesome. It's so cool. And it's totally worth buying too. Um, totally worth it. Um, so this is the dashboard. Now, this is just a tiny little uh, fraction of what this thing does. So look, look at this. So it does all kinds of reporting. So um, stat reporting, um, gains, losses, uh, balances, you know, by currency, by exchange. And then you can actually, you know, you can do manual imports of coins. You can, you know, key them in if you want wallet, actual wallet imports from your treasure, my selenium, you know, blockchain info, whatever. And check this thing out. This is really cool. So Bitcoin analysis, if you come here, it'll actually forecast Bitcoin. So this is the probability of a strong price fluctuation in the next three hours of Bitcoin. And it tells you, you know, like a high risk, medium risk, and then it charts it out. So, um, you know, due to their algorithm, you know, if, if they think Bitcoin is going to go up or down and it just charts it all out. And I'm a huge like uh, numbers nerd and, you know, uh, data um, analytic nerd. And this this program is just simply awesome. It just has so much data and it just charts everything and you can sync it up um, to anything you want. So I really check, uh, check it out, create an account, um, coin, it's uh, coin tracking, it's, it's like dot info or something. I'll put the links um, down below. Um, and I think uh, I get, I think this one is an affiliate too. So if, uh, if you guys buy it, uh, click my link and help me out too. Um, and then, you know, feel free to ask me questions too, and I'll help you out if, you know, if, if you, uh, purchase it with my link, I think I get like, um, a little something from it if you end up buying it, which, which would be a, be cool. Um, you know, just from the time of making these videos and everything. Um, okay. 
Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm moving kind of slow, guys. I'm so sick. <laughs> sorry. All right, so lastly, I want to go over Crypto Hopper. So the Crypto Hopper update. So it is January 31st, um, and the market is horrible, horrible. The Bitcoin price is, uh, look at it's under 10,000, it's 9,958. Um, so, you know, it's, it's going to be hard no matter what you do, but I mean, Crypto Hopper is still doing okay for me. You can see uh, today's the 31st, so it's done. You know, here's a 2% trade, 1 1.58, 0.8, 1.1, 1.45, 1.07, 1.59, 2.3, 1.58, 1.9. So what is that like? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, like 10 trades today. And then yesterday, um, it pumped out a decent amount of trades too. Um, maybe 15 trades yesterday. Um, I actually sold this one, I think, myself. So not too bad. I mean, if you sort it by results, I mean, it's pumping out some good um, some good coins. Yes, I'm holding, my positions um, are pretty red, uh, but you know, the market will go back up. So if you do see your positions being red, just hold on um, as the market goes up, those will sell off. So let me just show you my config. Um, again, I'm using a uh, Poloniex. Whoops. I think it just broke it. Oh, I have a, um, someone asked in the comments, I have two, uh, bots going, but the reason why is because one is still my 30 day trial, which is this one. And as you can see, I bought, I love this thing so much where I just went and I bought the hair plan. So I was using the coinicator signal only. Um, on my 30 day trial and then I went and just did the Poloniex hopper and configured a bunch of signals to the hair plan but I just turned this off so you can see if I if I go back uh, yeah see I just turned that off so okay so you can see like the market's been so bad it's like a sea of red here <laughs> but I'm still I'm still in the green overall which is which is good um, uh, but again, I mean, those positions will sell. The market's starting to pick up now, um, and as soon as it does, those positions will sell off. Just don't, don't, uh, don't be fearful, like FUD, they call it, you know, fear, uncertainty, doubt, and sell them. Just hold on, just like you do your other coins, and once they get, you know, to your break, uh, your, your revenue point, or your um, profitability percentage point, they'll, they'll sell off. So just hold on. Okay, so, um, so I'm, like I said, I'm on the hair plan, so I'm able to select uh, or, uh, 50 coins compared to the 15 coins on the free trial. So um, I'll just go through my settings. Um, so starting with the signals, so I'm using CryptoGrow. I'm using my, Mining Hamster Signals, Crypto Lion, uh, Crypto Signals, and Crypto Wolf. So I bought the Mining Hamster Signals. Um, I recommend the rest of these are all free. You know, see free, 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 free. I recommend paying the six dollars and buying the mining hamster signals because they trigger a lot. Um, I think it's several every day, and you can see. I mean, look at this performance. Um, the performance is amazing. So it's definitely worth six dollars to me. Um, so I would recommend you know to you know buy and subscribe to the mining hamster signals for six bucks. It's definitely worth it. Um, Another, uh, someone else asked me about config pools too, so I don't have any of those set up yet. Um, and again, I'm not saying I'm, I'm an expert at all with Crypto Hopper. I'm still learning just like everyone else is. Um, so as I'm um, experimenting, I'll keep you know making the videos and sharing my progress too. Um, so let me just show you the base config. So like I said, Poloniex, um, bots, there are the live bots turn on, there's my keys. Uh, okay, so 50, um, I selected 50 coins and how I, um, the question is, well, how do you know what coins to select? So how I did this was I went into the signals and specifically the mining hamster and it'll show you like the last coins, uh, that were signaled. Um, and what I did was I exported. I, I dumped this into a spreadsheet. I basically just copied 
Uh, I went like this and just copied it into an Excel, Excel spreadsheet and I found the coins that were sig signaled more than once and that's how I added them into my uh, to my coins or to my uh, coins to be uh, in the config setting so if, if, if it was signaled more than once in the past you know what is it the past day or two um, that's basically how I do it and then you can do it for these other signals too so go into you know crypto grow coinicator actually you know I actually turned this guy off I, I did subscribe to him or uh, coinicator here I turned it off because they actually didn't have a signal in like weeks well actually oh okay so it's been like well still see I mean look it's the market's been so bad where I mean the last signal they did was what like a week ago and before that was another week ago and before that was another week ago so until the market approves I don't recommend subscribing to that to this but once the market approves I will subscribe back to this um, just because the technology um, the AI machine learning to analyze the uh, charting I think um, it, it's uh, pretty pretty good stuff um, but right now I mean the market's so bad where it's, it just doesn't make sense to uh, to do it so like I said, how I determine my coins, I go into each one of these, I copy, I copy this in, whoops, like that, I copy it into an Excel spreadsheet, and I find the coins that are replicated more than once like this, LSK, LSK. Um, so this has been signaled more than once, so that's definitely a coin I chose. Um, and that's basically, you know, it's basically how I do it. So going back. <clears throat> Okay, so, oops. <clears throat> okay, sorry, my mind's not very sharp today, guys. I'm, I don't know if it's the flu or what, but I just feel awful. Um, okay, so selected coins is 50. Like I said, I exported that into an Excel, and I found coins that were uh, uh, signaled more than once, and that's how I selected them. Now, I think the last video... Uh, my strategy was multiple uh, TA strategy so I turn that off so now I'm only using manual external signals only so in other words I'm not having the bot do uh, readings of the charting I'm specifically only having it buy and sell or actually only buy on signals only so it, this has been working pretty good for me so um, I would recommend you know giving that a shot if, if your strategy is not working very well for you um, so just give that a try um, no strategy manual external signals only um, I bumped my percentage profit down a little bit but actually it's kind of being ignored now because of my trailing stop loss so you can kind of ignore that um, this is a new feature that was just recently added so use ticker rate highest bid lower ask um, I just kind of let that be now so this Although it looks like there's a, an entry in that field, it's uh, this field is null, so there's nothing in there, so that's zero. So that's an empty field, that's an empty field. So I'm not, the reason why is because if there's a value in here, um, your, your, uh, your bid time could take longer. So in other words, this is basically saying that you wanna come in at a lower uh, bid price, and that in turn could take your uh, buy, time to take longer for the bot to place that buy order and with this bad market I just kinda wanna get in and <clears throat> get in and get out so that's why I erase that value here and I erase that value here so I just wanna I don't I just wanna get it kinda almost at a market price and get a market buy and a market sell I don't need to get in you know at a certain percentage lower or a certain percentage higher I just wanna get in and get out um, I don't need it to be sitting in there for hours um, stop loss, you know, I don't really want to be taking losses, so I just turn that off. So now trailing stop loss, I have it set at a 0.5 and my arm uh, stop loss at 1.5. This is probably a best setting to use in this bad market right now. Um, if you do want to use a trailing stop loss, um, now again, a trailing stop loss, for those who aren't familiar, it allows you to, um, if you don't have this selected, your this percentage will um, will be used. So once you buy a coin, once it goes over a 1.8% from when you bought it, the bot will sell it for a 1.8% profit. But being I have this selected here, it ignores this 
uh, percentage profit and what it's doing now is so if it goes over you know a certain amount so now it's basically allowing me to get higher profits than this 1.8 percent that's that's essentially what a trailing stop loss is so uh, stop loss percentage 0.5 arm trailing stop loss 1.5 and I have this selected to use the stop loss um, so that disables the percentage profit which is this guy 1.8 so that disables this so it allows me to overcome that 1.8 to get a higher percentage profit um, and then I also have this selected too this is new from uh, last time too um, and it basically allows uh, um, enable coins to be sold whenever percentage profit is reached of the same coins. So in other words, you're holding it, uh, you're holding the coin instead of selling it and then buying the same coin again. Um, I read somewhere that it's good to have uh, that turned on. It just instead of you know dumping the coin and then just rebuying the same coin, it makes more sense to do that. Um, and then also because of the bad market, I have this turned on now too. It's been basically says you know if there's a positive change in the last 24 hours. Um, it'll buy the coin. If not, it will not buy the coin. So I recommend having that turned on with the bad market. Um, and then auto close positions within time. Turn that off. Otherwise, it'll you know sell positions that could be you know in the red. Now max open time buy and sell. I have that set for uh, 30 30 minutes, um, just to allow enough time. And these you know max open positions is you know depending on how much money you have invested. Um, you know, on the exchange. Uh, so that's about it, guys. Um, those are my settings. Oh, let me go up here and just scroll real slow so you guys can see it again. 50 coins. Again, I'm on this a hair plan. Um, external signals only. These are uh, no uh, value in these fields. Trilling stop loss 0.5, 1.5. Stop loss only selected. Hold assets, buy positive pairs only, 30, 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there. And these settings here are depending on you know how much you have on, on the exchange. <laughs> so that's about it. Um, and then obviously, like I said before, no config pools, and I'm, I'm using the paid $6 mining hamster signals. Um, I, I really do think it's worth it and they, they, they fire off a ton of signals every day which allows me to get you know like 15 trades a day which is which is pretty awesome here so alright guys that's it um, apologize for my raspy voice um, and I'll uh, you know keep making these videos keep giving you guys updates let me know down in the comments um, what you guys want to see hopefully this helps you out um, um, and I'll, like I said, I'll keep making these videos, so stay tuned for the next one. Take care.